All righty then, we back, Mercy Sports Talk, and Markeith Morris is working on a buyout. Is he going to Cali? Clippers, Lakers? Let's talk about it, man. It's your boy, CJ Goodfella. Appreciate everybody that show love to the channel. Best way to show love is share the video. You want to show love in a financial way, cash app, PayPal in the description, but I just urge you to share the video. It's the best way you can help me out. And also, great way you can help me out. Check my other channel out, Goodfella Sports TV. A lot of sports, music, entertainment over there, man. So check we out what we're doing on that platform as well, too, right here on YouTube, man. But, uh, yeah, man, um, yeah, Marquise Moore is working on the buyout. Obviously, um, a lot of Piston fans mad that they had pieces that they never, you know, turned into assets, and I'm fine with it. You know, a lot of people expect the Lions organization and the Pistons organizations to do things that make sense. I come to grips a long time ago that they're not going to do things that make sense. I'm not mad that they didn't turn Andre into an asset. I, I'm, I was expecting them not to turn Blake into an asset because I knew Blake had some injury, injury histories. And I figured when he got here, he would break down like an 88 box Chevy on his last legs. And exactly that's what happened. All right. Marquise Morris, people get to crying. Marquise Morris had a nice little stretch in like January, but other than that, he really ain't been healthy. And you know, what you gonna get? Another second round pick? This ain't the NFL. Second round picks rarely pan out in the, in the NBA. You know, so I mean, if you just if, if that's what you wanted was a second round pick for Marquise Morris, I'm pretty sure they could have got that. But they working on the buyout. This this team is going in a totally different direction. They finally starting to break tear it down and build it up um, from the ground up. And um, one of the things about that is, and I might do a, a Pistons live stream uh, this weekend, maybe Lions today as well. One of the things about building it down, you know, burning it down and building it up is that it eliminates the opportunity for error, all right? Once you get down to 15, 14, 10 range, seven range, uh, and, and beyond the seven range, it's hard to really find those diamonds in the rough. When you get up in the top five or six, it's a little bit easier to find those good players. But, you know, I'm not mad. I know they didn't turn Marquise Morris into an asset. He was here to, to provide depth. Um, he wasn't healthy. Luke Kennard ain't been healthy. The team ain't been healthy. And they built this team, you know, they built this team on just some, some lazy, I mean, on, 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 some, on some guys that wasn't healthy. All right, guys that had injury history. And in the NBA, a lot of these dudes ain't as tough as, you know, some of the 80s and 90s and 70 players was early 2000s. So it didn't work out. It was an experiment. You didn't pay Marquise Morris a lot of money. He get bought out. He joined Reggie and his brother Marcus in the Clippers. Or he go to the Lakers or another championship contender team. Remember, I forgot who cut him, and he ended up on Oklahoma City. The Wizards cut him, and, you know, he really didn't give him nothing here. So uh, he may be one foot almost getting out the league, but... He didn't do nothing to make me miss him. Now, Marcus came here and he balled out. And I was upset when we traded Marcus Morris um, because he was a really good player and he liked being here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Marquis Morris moving on. Not upset at all. You know, um, you know, the Pistons pretty much, they didn't get a lot for, they, for the assets that they did have. Got nothing for Reggie in the expiring contract. I don't think anybody wanted him for that price. Um, didn't get anything for Marquise. Mar 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 Probably not going to get much for Blake. Didn't get much for Andre. But the beautiful thing about it is they starting off from scratch. And um, we'll see what Stefanowski can do at the top of the draft um, if they can make it there a few years. And, you know, we did some uh, a brief little draft overview earlier uh, earlier this week. I like LaMelo. I like Edwards from Georgia. I like Killian uh, over there in France for France. He was born in Lakeland, Florida, but, you know, his father pursued a career in France. I like all three of those guys for the Pistons, but I like Killian and LaMelo ball the most. I think people don't like LaMelo so much because of his father, but his father won't come to Detroit talking that. He ain't in New Orleans talking that, so LaMelo is the way, I believe. He remind me of Luca. He remind me of Trey Young. Um, talented guy, and people trying to put his brother's shortcomings on him, but his brother's shortcomings is pretty much due to knee injury. You know what I'm saying? It's his knee, and now his knee is healthy. You know, he, he's straight balling out, man, so... Yeah, man, I can't, I'm looking forward to, to, to them rebuilding from scratch. They ain't done it since they got uh, since they got Grant Hill, and I look forward to them doing it again, man. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, Marquise Morris working on a bio. Don't know where he's going. I can assume he may be trying to go to L.A., uh, maybe Milwaukee. Not sure, but hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, fire response, shit, video quest. Keep sharing the videos. Much love. Appreciate the support. Let me know what you guys think about Marquis Morris getting bought out. We gone.